On November 1, the Russian armed forces continued their steady advance on the positions of the Kiev regime in the region of the Donbass. The main hotpoints of the current clashes are the areas of Chesovyar, Seladovo, and the countryside of the town of Korokovo. Around Chesovyar, located west of Bakhmut, Russian units were able to consolidate their recent gains in the vicinity of the town. Active offensive actions were ongoing east and south of it, including operations of Russian forward groups in the direction of the village of Stepochki, which is located around the road that links Konstantinovka and Bakhmut itself. Positional fighting was also reported around Seladovo and Novgorodovka. Recently, units of the Russian armed forces advanced west of these towns and captured new positions in the countryside of Lysavka and Vishnevo. In the direction of Korokovo, Russian forces fully liberated the village of Korokovka northeast of it as well as the villages of Shatersko and Novokrenka in the sector south of the town. The collapse of defense of Kiev's forces south of Korokovo was the result of the successful Russian operation around Ugladar. In the outskirts of Korokovo, a pinpoint Russian strike destroyed an observation post of the 14th Operational Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The Russians were also able to locate and eliminate a point of temporary deployment for the 35th Marine Brigade in the village of Ulikli and an ammunition depot for the same brigade in Sansovo. Now, the Russian armed forces are working to cut off supply lines of the Ukrainian military both south and north of Korokovo. Thus, they are undermining the capability of the Kiev regime to keep control of the town. In this context, it is interesting to note the recently increased Russian strikes on targets in the rear of Ukrainian forces in this sector. For example, Ukrainian positions around the village of Uspanovka, which sits on an important crossroad between Ugladar and Korokovo. It is possible that Uspanovka itself may soon become one of the targets of the Russian advance in this area.